doing a little bit of an experiment here I've got these uh, seaplane grommets to put on and I want to they just glue on with poly tack uh, see this one was glued on with uh, poly brush or taken off or something uh, I don't know what happened to it but it was in the leftover bag of stuff that I had well I wanted to put a doily over those to kind of help hold them down and to kind of cover them up and fair them in a little bit so I'd look in and I uh, for something to use for a pattern for a doily I want it to you know, have enough room around it to actually glue the fabric down to the to the fabric um, so anyway say I'm looking looking for something I found this roll of tape that the outside of it is just about I figured the right diameter uh, we'll try that anyway and I've got this uh, fabric that I shrunk to make my gusset on the uh, door um, side there. Well, I've already cut one little uh, doily out of it that I used on the, over the handle on top of the uh, door gusset. Anyway, I drew that out on there and I was going to cut it out. But they keep uh, saying to uh, coat the fabric with a little bit of poly tack wherever you're going to make a cut and thin the poly tack and just make a, a little bit of poly tack on there and let it cure when you make a cut so it doesn't come unraveled. Well, I had this leftover poly tack in here there wasn't very much and I thinned it probably close to 50-50 or something like that with some MEK and I've spread it on this fabric to see how it's going to cut and see what happens. Well, I need to get um, a regular set of pinking shears. These work really good, but uh, sometimes you just need to make a straight cut. So, well, that's making a lot nicer cut than what I made before. Just a second, you can see the difference here. Now we can compare these on that's left over. This is what I cut before. Exactly the same thing with the same pair of shears. You can see how kind of rough that is. And look how nice and well defined those uh, teeth are on that, those pinks are on that. That made a big difference. And that's really thin poly tack too. Another thing to worry about that is whether the poly brush will hold that on when you go to put it on but there's no reason it it shouldn't it can I probably actually put some MEK on this and thin it down or soften it up if you wanted to but uh, well it makes a really nice nice cut there so, I think that's a well now put the the doily will go over like that So maybe I should mark that with a pencil before I try to center that a little bit on there. that mark on there. I'm going to make the cut just a little bit 
outside of the, the mark. You probably can't see that. shrunk fabric and to try to form fit that with the iron we'll see how that what happens there do something with the time while I'm waiting for the stuff to, the poly brush to cure <laughs> 